So Valve released in the last couple weeks uh, a feature to the software called Activators, and I haven't done a video on it yet. This will be a pretty short video, and thank fuck for that because I have a splitting fucking migraine. <laughs> but I'm pretty resolved to try to create content when I can, and the only time I really get to myself is Sundays, so gotta do it. Anyway, activators basically allow you to change the activation style or activation type of each input in the sense that if you wanted a certain input, you might just hold down a button and then it will hold down uh, whatever input you want. So it'll continue sending that input for the duration of time that the, uh, the button is pressed down. Uh, or you could have it as a double click or a double press. So if you just go into the input management window here and then go show activators with the select button, you can you bring up the activate the activators menu. And you can choose between the activation types. So there's regular press, which just acts like a normal button. Everybody should be quite familiar with that. Uh, or there's double press, there's long press. So you hold it for long press, you hold it down and the button the input doesn't actually send. For, uh, for a duration of time. Like, a certain amount of time will pass before it will actually activate, and that's to try to make inputs a little bit more fluid. Uh, there's start press, which is good for swapping action sets, and then there's release press, which is also good for swapping action sets. And they're, they're, I, I can't really think of anything else that lo start press and release press would be good for other than swapping action sets. And I'll get into that a little bit later, because why not, right? So the way this works is that, say I have this bound to A, I can just add an activator. And it's bound to A for regular press. So I go to this other activator right here, and I can go double press. And maybe I want this one set to X. So now when I just press the left grip, it'll register an A, because the regular press is A. But if I double click, uh, the left grip, it'll have an X. And you can set the double tap time, which is basically the duration of time after the first click that the second click will activate the, the new input. You can set the uh, fire start delay, which is pretty much you hold down the button and it won't actually start the input for uh, some time afterward. And the end delay is the same thing, but it's for the end. Once you release the button, it will continue sending information for some time, even though the, the button's no longer being held. And this is specifically to make uh, swapping different actions or swapping uh, different inputs more fluid. So if I wanted to go regular press and hold down uh, A, and I wanted to not kill the, uh, the input when I was double tapping for X, I could set the end delay a little bit higher, and it'll continue sending the A input that way I can hold down a and then I can let go of it it'll still send and then I can go double press and while a is still sending input I can double tap for an X that's pretty much what those do toggle um, basically lets you assign whether or not the input will continue send or the uh, the button will continue sending input um, even after it's been clicked so everybody knows how a toggle works I mean it, it's either you hold to engage and then when you release it's disengaged when you toggle you press and release and then it's engaged and if you want to disengage you press and release again it just basically frees up your your fingers uh, during the time that you want the input being sent haptics intensity everybody knows about that cycle binding uh, pretty much if you go to the uh, input menu here and then press Y for toggle multi button you can go maybe A, S, and D, and then you can see right here it has button X. Oh, <laughs> whoops. That's okay. We'll just clear that and start try again. So say, oh my god, Valve, you're not really making this easy for me, man. So you have A, S, and D, and if you turn cycle binding on, when you double tap, well, it's set to double press right now, but you can set it to regular press. If you press this, it'll do an A, and if you press it again, it'll do an S, you press it again, and it'll do a D. What I really think this is for is for 
like this. I think it's for this for this type of thing, where if you're in a shooter game, you can cycle through all of your weapons with one button. I, I, I think that's more or less what this feature is for, the cycle binding. Uh, hold to repeat, turbo does the same thing it does in any other uh, input method or input on the controller. I don't need to go over that again. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about the uh, the long press or the uh, start press and the release press. So I said it was good for action sets. So the way you, that you go about doing this is that you'd have a start press right here and let's just uh, get rid of this one. You have a start press right here and uh, what you can do is you can you can take your your action set here you go add action set and then you have it copy the default action set but uh, so now when I go to this action set it will be exactly the same it's just a copied version so if I if I wanted to change an input parameter I can assign it to this new action set so you go to default or which, whichever your first action set is you go to this uh, start press and then on the input, you actually go to set right here. And that will allow you to swap between your action sets. So you go to set. Uh, we don't want it to beep or anything. And we go to the new action set. So when I start pressing this, it will go to the new action set that I just created. And then I go to the new action set. Go to this input again. And then go to release press and then have it go to, oh my god, the default action set, or the first action set. So now, if I hold this down, I get a brand new action set, and I can change whatever parameters I want. Right now, the new action set that I have on here is just a carbon copy. It's not different at all. But if I wanted to change parameters, I could. I, I hold down uh, the left grip. It changes to the new action set. I release the left grip it changes back to the old action set. And that's the only real use that I can find for start press and release press. But yeah, that's that's pretty much how activators work. 